What is the one thing better than a slider on a pretzel bun? A slider on a pretzel bun topped with a deep fried cheese wrapped pickle. Let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna start by making my burger patties. I'm just gonna season, uh, this is a mixture of ground chuck and ground sirloin. I'm gonna season that. I'll give it a little mix. And then we'll just form little patties that'll be about the size of our little slider buns over there. And if you wanna add any more seasonings into the meat, go right ahead. All right, so we have our little pucks just like that. I like them kind of on the thicker side, but it's completely up to you if you like your burgers really thin. That's another fun variation. So I have my pan heating up right here. I'm just gonna get my burgers on there. And while my burgers are cooking, I'm gonna fry up some pickles. So I have my pickle spears right here. So I'm just drying off the pickles because you don't want that much excess moisture in here. And for all these burgers, you're only really gonna need probably like two or three or four pickle spears. But I kinda like to make extras because they're good just on their own without the burger. Okay, now. To assemble our pickles, we have some Havarti cheese here, some slices, which is gonna melt down really, really nicely when they're fried. And so first, I'm just gonna wrap a pickle spear in this cheese. And now we have egg roll wrappers. You can buy these at the store. They're really not hard to make. They're pretty much just flour and water. It's important to keep them moist, so I have this wet paper towel over them so that they don't dry out. And then we are going to wrap this cheese wrapped pickle in an egg roll wrapper. And you're gonna seal them really well so that when the cheese melts in the fryer, it doesn't all ooze out. So I'll just use a little bit of water around the edges here. And then wrap them nice and tight. We don't want any cheese oozing out of there. All right, put that right there. Okay, so I have three of these done. I'm gonna get them deep frying. They fry it pretty quickly. You just have to make sure that your oil is hot enough. So I have my oil at about 360 degrees. It's too hot, they'll burn. It's not hot enough, they'll get really, really oily. Okay, so I'm just gonna carefully lower this in here. And we're just gonna fry them until they're golden brown. And you'll see they get kind of bubbly around the edge. So these are just about there. They're really starting to get golden brown. I'm just gonna check my burgers. Okay, this one's looking really, really nice. I'm gonna grab a paper towel just so we get that excess grease off of these. Look at that. Look at how nice and golden that is. And they're really crispy on the edge. So you're just gonna chop these and this isn't the cleanest job. It's actually a really messy job, but it's rustic. It's a rustic burger. There you go. So you have your little cheesy, crispy, pickled discs. And now I'm just gonna assemble my burgers and then we'll be ready to go. I have some pretzel rolls here toasting. And of course, pretzel rolls go great with pickles. They go great with burgers. They pretty much go great with anything. Now, I like putting the meat directly on the bun so that the juices kind of soak down into the bread. There we go. We have our lettuce, our tomato, and really just use whatever fixings you want to use. I'm gonna add some mustard and mayo. And they're gonna get a pickle right on top that's a tall burger. And there you go. I think I'm ready for a party. I'm gonna have one of these first though. Mm. 